Hi everybody, this is Suzanne Spooner. I am the creator of the channeling process called The Art of Universal Knowing, or TALK for short. Uh, I also created the Universal Mind Project, which is a guided meditation. And most of you know me as a QHHT Level 3 practitioner. Um, in all of those aspects, I do um, what I think is my biggest work here on the planet, and that is exploring human consciousness. Um, and reporting my findings to you is what I'm doing today. I've had a really interesting experience a few days ago that I've been kind of wrapping my head around and um, contemplating on, and I wanted to share it with you a little bit. Um, you know, it kind of comes in an interesting way underneath that heading of a near-death experience or, um, you know, Jill Bolt Taylor's um, experience of having that stroke, um, what she shared about being in the right brain, um, being in the moment of now, is kind of along those lines, except for it wasn't that dramatic. Um, actually, it was <laughs> via a root canal that I had this experience. Like, what in the world? Yeah, it was a root canal. Can you believe that? So just a little background on that. I've had some problems with a, a molar um, for quite a while, and it's the only cap tooth in my head. And um, so I've been, you know, monitoring it, um, trying to understand, you know, why I'm creating this tenderness in my mouth, um, my communication center. I'm all aware of all of that, but also mindful that in a few weeks I have to travel overseas. And so because it had kind of kicked up a little bit, was bringing its attention to me, I thought I better stop in to my dentist and um, have him check it out and just make sure that I don't get overseas and have to have a um, little dental issue on um, uncommon soil. So off I went last Thursday to the dentist, thinking that we're just going to have a little look-see and um, make a plan and, you know, kind of go from there. I wasn't expecting it to be any more than that. But as we found out, uh, the root had died and I needed a root canal. Yeah, never had one of those before. So um, we get out our respective schedules, which are both crazy and full. And what it really comes down to right away is that we could both do it right then. Um, right then. Uh, no planning, no preparation, <laughs> no wondering, you know, what I have to move the next few days. Um, had a pretty open weekend, so we both just decided, let's do it. Let's go for it. So it's the time that makes the most sense. Um, gives me some recovery time before I head out. So um, with that, almost instantaneously, I had that gas mask put on, um, you know, the uh, nitrous oxide. Um, so I have only ever had nitrous oxide a few times. Um, I'm sure I had it when I had the cap put on. Um, don't remember that though. And I know I had it when I had my wisdom teeth out. And, you know, I just remember that as being kind of, you know, a happy <laughs> experience during the process. Um, but all of a sudden this mask is on me. And because I was such a geek on human consciousness, uh, I start, you know, kind of thinking on this, like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to have this opportunity to kind of go through different levels of consciousness, and, you know, I wonder what this is going to be like. And then the little hygienist asks if I want to put headphones on, and I'm like, heck yeah, let's, um, let's listen to some good <laughs> trippy music while we do this. So I have her turn it to the Beatles channel, and, you know, I'm thinking, you know, if I'm going to have this experience, why not? have George Harrison and John Lennon in my head with their magical and mystical uh, lyrics and music. So off we went. Um, they started the procedure. Um, I'm enjoying this nitrous oxide, um, but really paying more attention to what I was experiencing with the oxide. I love my dentist, um, trusted him whole wholeheartedly, knew that he had my back and all of my best interests and all the skills. So I was able to just let that go. And um, I started listening to the music and the lyrics and wow, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, heard some instruments in there that I haven't really heard before um, listening to the Beatles. Uh, so that was fun. But then I um, really became aware that my left brain was gone. 
I mean, I just really wasn't experiencing any fear, any worry. Um, you know, all this activity was going on around my mouth and um, I was trying to picture what was happening, um, which I just really couldn't. Um, but I, I thought, wow, like I'm just experiencing this happy feeling and no fear, no worry and loving this music and being grateful to my dentist and the hygienist, um, kind of wishing at the moment that they were having the same experience that I was having. Now fully understand that's not a good idea. Uh, we want them in their left brains while they're doing this work. Um, well, I enjoy the right brain um, activity. So anyways, this experience just kept expanding and unfolding. And um, I was out of my body for a while and really was um, at one with everything. And I mean, I, I wish I could put into words what this was like. Um, I wasn't Suzanne anymore. I wasn't associating with this physical body anymore. Um, I was just an essence. And it felt really, really good. Um, I really have a more profound feeling of what it's like when we um, move away from um, the, the physicality of our bodies. And uh, oh my God, it was beautiful. It was lovely. And then at one point, I, like, I turn and I look at my dentist. <laughs> And I don't see him anymore. Um, I mean, it's it's the area where he should be, but all I see is this bright, bright white light. And it's not that overhead light, you know, that, that they shine down on you. This was definitely off to the side. And it was him. And it was um, it was seeing like his soul, his the purity of his soul. And it was so touching to my heart. It actually gave me happy tears. I hope he's not thinking that I was crying because he was hurting me. <laughs> because it wasn't that at all. It was just seeing the totality of his soul and um, the intention and the purity of, of his kindness, I guess. Um, so that was that was a beautiful thing to witness on another human being. Um, I'm trying to chase the light here a little bit. I don't know how I can do that. So um, there, there we go. Um, so in that experience, I also left and I went and visited some friends of mine. Um, that live in other places around the planet, had great conversations with them. I have no idea how where they were, probably not at all, but maybe their higher selves were. Um, but then there also became this really interesting experience of hearing these people speak behind me. Um, it was as if it were a very large group of people, that's how I perceived it to be. Um, lots of activity, lots of conversation, lots, it sounded like debate. Um, I read it as if they were a little concerned about what was going on in the room with me and the dentist and the hygienist. Um, and, and the procedure actually went a little awry, only that it took longer than anticipated. Um, we had a little bit of a challenge that my dentist had to work through with my tooth. Um, so I was in that, in that state a little bit longer. I, it's all well planned. I, I totally understand this now. I understand what was going on there. Um, but I think, you know, I was aware of all of this going on all at once. I mean, I could look at my dentist's face and kind of see the concern on his face and check in with the hygienist and, you know, there's this, you know, I was picking up on this back and forth between the two of them. I was hearing this group behind me. I was in this place of all right brain, fascinating, um, no fear. So, you know, I was just kind of going with the flow and trying to, to experience that. Um, you know, I was thinking, um, man, if everybody could be in the state, how fast would we um, move forward, right? Because in that state, there's only love. And if there's only love, then how fast would that diminish everything that's negative in this world? The fear, the worry, the war, the hate, the discord. Um, so I, I'm going through all of these thoughts and emotions throughout this experience as well, you know, having all this work done on my mouth as well. Um, it was just mind blowing. And, you know, and we can say that, you know, oh, it's just the nitrous oxide, you're just in that happy place. But yes, you know, for sure, it was a, it was a segue into that state of being. But um, 
it made me really think all weekend long about that profound experience and um, tapping into it. And um, nitrous oxide was the, was the avenue to get there in this case. Um, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, we, we can do this on our own, right? With our own intention. And I think that's what, what hypnosis really fascinates me with. You know, the, the intention is there by the client to let go and, and delve into this deeper level of consciousness. Um, and, and I or others that are trained in QHHT get to be the facilitators of those experiences by using our voice um, and our words. Uh, thanks to the great Dolores Cannon who created that process. Um, so I'm in and out of these fields all the time. It was just a very unexpected experience um, in the form of a flipping root canal that allowed me to fully experience all right brain activity, um, my higher self, um, have God experience, um, be out of the body, um, be aware that there are other beings around us that uh, even in the little tiny bit of logical mind that I had knew weren't physically there with us at the time. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. It's just, it's kind of a funny thing. I'm still trying to wrap my head around exactly what had happened. Uh, matter of fact, this morning I went up and I uh, did a talk message. I channeled a message about uh, this experience. So I wanted to read to you because as as usual, they put um, into these messages um, probably a clearer stream of thought than I am voicing with my words right now. But I thought you might like this. I'll probably end up blogging on this. But um, this came just this morning. Oh, and I have to give a little precursor here. Um, those of you that know me know I have a little bit of a problem with um, my watch and time. <laughs> I have this watch that is always bouncing around in time and dates. Um, so funny. But anyways, this morning I, I was looking at my watch and it was two days earlier. Uh, it showed as October 7th. Today is October 9th. Like, okay, whatever. But then when I looked at the minutes, it was six minutes ahead of where we actually were in time, whatever that is. So anyways, you'll hear a little bit of that explanation on here as well. I just wanted to give you a little heads up on that. Okay, so this talk message was done today, October 9th, 2017. Um, it's a God message. And so I start off by saying, hi, God, and then the message starts. Hi, Susie. You want information on what happened at the dentist last week and what you experienced in your consciousness. Yes, please, I say. You went to a dimension of no fear and no worry. It was meant to show you how it feels to be in a state of bliss and how to engage your high self without the constructs of the left mind. You found your way home via a root canal. <laughs> now that's funny, I say. And, and God says, yes, it is. it is. It all truly is. It also showed you that if you open yourself to experiencing yourself in other ways, you will explore more fully the totality of human experience. And I say, you know, we are not encouraging misuse of drugs or dental visits, correct? And, and God says, correct. Going within requires nothing more than intention. You simply create an avenue to experience more via nitrous oxide. I simply created that. Because you are a student of consciousness, you use that experience to explore the right side of your brain. You had a profound experience of letting go of all fear and residual feeling of worry. You then had total focus on the right brain. There you could enjoy the words and the frequency of the songs of the Beatles. That allowed you to go deeper within the right brain. Once you were there, you could astral travel to places without the body. You met up with friends of several dimensions. You observed the light body of your dentist. You found connection to an old friend and was aware of a gathering of helpers in the room. Yes, I said, tell me more about those helpers. I recalled a seemingly large group who were standing behind me and the dentist, talking rather loudly. They seemed to be discussing something that was serious or worrisome. No, they were only there to observe you being in that altered state. You were picking up on some worry from your dentist who was having a brief challenge with your procedure. 
The group is a council who are following ways to integrate techniques that will increase human awareness. They were discussing how it was possible for consciousness to evolve more quickly by accessing the right brain more easily. You showed them by doing so, life on Earth could readily speed up the ascension to higher consciousness. And I say, yes, I recall now thinking that if we could get world leaders into this mindset I was experiencing, it would be the end of all things war involved. Um, there would be no way to hurt or treat another human badly, badly or cruelly. Yes, we were discussing this with you at the time. You were back there with us. Mm, interesting, I say. To see how you reacted was the experiment. The findings are being studied, and you will know the results in due time. Um, the time issue is eroding, and I say yes. I saw today on my watch that it was two days earlier and six months ahead, all at the same time. Uh, very clever. And the message says, only pointing out the obvious, time is relative to your need. Um, but that is another message, however. So, yes, it is. Um, so, anyways, you know, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, this experience, of course, is, um, I guess, just a way to explore human consciousness. Um, very unexpected, uh, very appreciated. Uh, you know, I guess I probably had um, the happiest root canal ever, although the recovery has been a little touchy here and there, although I'm feeling much better now. Um, that the experience overall has changed me. Um, I know now what it feels like to be totally right brain, very much high self. Um, I, I like to say that I don't entertain fear and worry anymore. And now I really, 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 really understand the feeling of that um, via this root canal experience. Um, and here's the funny part, uh, we couldn't finish last Thursday. Um, we went most of the way, but I have to go back again uh, later this week to complete the procedure. So I don't know, maybe I'll um, get to <laughs> take another uh, trip with nitrous oxide again and uh, explore a little bit more of the right brain and uh, speak with those chaps that were behind me um, or with me, I guess. Um, and learn what these results are of this experiment that I was participating in. Anyways, just hoping to keep your minds open and um, hope that you guys are going to have a wonderful mind-expanding week and know that consciousness can um, be your tool to a higher, greater, healthier, and happier life. All right. Um, you can find me at Suzanne Spooner, QHHT.com. Um, happy to talk with you today. I hope you guys have a great week.